Hello again folks, um, first of all apologies for the poor image quality in this video, um, I have zoomed in quite close to the board just so you can see what I'm doing, so sorry about that. Um, but this video is going to be yet another surface mount soldering tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you uh, the technique of drag soldering which is a really effective and really simple technique that you can use if you don't have solder paste as it allows you to use standard uh, off the shelf, off the reel solder to uh, fit a surface mount IC onto your PCB. So that's what we're going to do in this video and we'll just get uh, straight on in and uh, start the process. So the first thing we're going to want to do um, is tin one of the pads. Now there probably is enough solder on the existing pads. I've removed this uh, IC to put it back on. But as you can see there's, there is quite a bit of solder on here but we'll put a, a tiny bit more just uh, on there to tin it up. If you're doing it on a brand new PCB then of course you will need to tin it 100%. Um, but all we need to do is lift in the IC once we've tinned it, get it roughly in position. In fact, it might actually be easier just to use my fingers in this case. Uh, it's quite a, a large chip. And all we're going to do is reflow that solder that we've just uh, put on there to act as an anchor uh, for the chip. So that's it on there. It is relatively well anchored. In fact, I will probably tin up the opposite corner as well. If it's a smaller package like an SO8 or an SO16, something like that, then of course you probably won't need to do both sides. But there we go. It's on the board. It's aligned. It's not going any, not going anywhere. So now what we're going to do is pop some flux in the board. In this case, we're using this Amtec RMA223. Whether it's genuine or not, I'm not sure. Um, but I've got one here prepped with the, the nozzle on. And all we're going to do is put a small bead of solder not solder, sorry, flux, um, up the sides, about a millimetre wide, not too much, like so. And then this is the this uh, main event, if you like, this is it's actually going to solder all those leads essentially in one go. I mean, two goes, one go each side, I suppose. So all we're going to do is tin with iron and put a, the tiniest amount of solder on there, like so, and then apply that on there and then drag it up the side. Okay. And we'll do the same on this side. Again, just the tiniest amount. And then drag it up. Maybe a tad more there. And that should be the job done. You can go over it a couple of times if you want, uh, just to make sure. But of course, it's all in the, the visual inspection. So we've uh, soldered it on. We now need to clean off the um, clean off the flux using some isopropyl alcohol. And I'm just using one of these uh, anti-static brushes. Of course it's not essential to do this but it is best practice. If you've got it round, definitely, definitely do it if you've got it. Let's see, best practice. We can blow off that uh, extra isopropyl alcohol there. And I'll just uh, make sure that that end, end connection's uh, made because there wasn't much solder. Uh, sorry, there isn't much solder on it. Plus the fact that that's quite a, a big surface area to uh, to heat up, so it probably wouldn't have uh, taken too well, if that makes sense. There we go. So, like I say, it's all in the inspection, and that's what we'll do now. I'll use this uh, lens out of a uh, projector that I salvaged, and we can have a look and see how it looks. So that doesn't look too bad. We can see we've got a shot there on the end, but the rest on that side looks good. And then if we tip the board up, uh, what do we see? Get it in focus. I think again there may be a shot on that end, but just spin the board round like so. Give it a closer inspection. Maybe slightly better light. No, that one does appear to be fine. But yeah, those are nice nice enough joints. Um, we'll just clean that short out. And um, we'll just use, uh, just use an iron to do that. I've 
try and get it on camera using the lens again. But what we can do is just heat up the joint. Oops. This is quite difficult to do left handed. Heat up the joint. And there we go, that's it cleared. I'll just double check that. It's quite, it really is quite difficult to see. Get it to focus. There we go, got it in focus now. Yeah, and that really doesn't want to clear out of there. There we go. Got there eventually. Um, of course, uh, I don't particularly care about this board. It's just an old PCB. But of course, if you if you are clearing shots, be careful when it comes to the temperature and how long you hold your iron on there, because you don't want to uh, you don't want to damage the chip with excessive heat. Um, yeah, quite a nice job. Uh, not too bad at all. Certainly going to be functional. Uh, of course, we're hobbyist guys. We're not professionals, but we take a bit of pride in the work and get a, the best job we can do. Um, you know, if we've got a little bit too much solder on there, you know, do we really care? As long as it's functional and it does the job, you know, what's then they will be happy. But there we go, guys. That was a, a, a brief introduction to uh, drag soldering. It does take a little bit of time to get the technique and, you know, occasionally I'll do it. I say occasionally. The majority of the time, if I'm doing drag soldering, then I don't have shots. But, yeah, you, you just need to get the feel for how much solder you need to use, Um you know, and, and you will eventually get it where you just be straight along, straight along, job done. You don't need to go back and rework it. But anyway, I'm blabbering on again, as I often do. Hope you found that, uh, sorry, hopefully you found that useful. If you did, as always, please give me the thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down. And as always, if you haven't already done so and you'd like to, by all means, please subscribe. Until next time, guys, take care of yourselves. All the best.